let's say for example we've created a floor plan such as the one that you see here and we've copied this from the plans or wherever and since we've done that we've then traced around that edge and we've created this spline this editable line that you can see here but let's say for example um, the people who have got this flat have actually said well no we want an extension put on here so before we create the walls what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to edit this line so yeah okay that's going to be a little bit tricky how are we going to do that well a line itself is already uh, an editable object so when I click on it and go to the modify tab I'm already presented with a whole load of information down here on the right hand side I'm probably I'm doing that a little bit fast but a whole lot of tools down here on the right hand side that will help me and enable me to make these changes so the first thing I want to do is to go to vertex mode and I want to just have a look at what we've got here and I can see there that we've got some interesting bits and pieces going on so what I'm going to try and do is I'll take all of these vertices in a marquee selection to begin with and I'm going to turn on my 3d snap toggle and then I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to make sure that I've got vertex set and what I'm then going to do is left click and drag so that my vertices match so there we go that's good and what I'm then going to do is I'm going to take these and I'm going to left click to there now unfortunately there's a problem here and the problem is that I didn't have enough vertices to account for this corner piece here. So let's turn off the snaps toggle by pressing S. And what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to add another point into here. Now I do that by using the refine tool. So under my geometry, I'll click on refine. And because I'm not too worried, because I know that these lines will stretch, I'll just click anywhere on that uh, segment. And we can see from that, that what we've got here is a new vertex point. That vertex point has changed and so has that one. So okay that's fair enough. Let's just grab this one though for the moment. Press S to turn my snap back on and let's pull that back into place. And I'll turn S off straight away. Well now that we've actually got that vertex in position we're now left with another problem and that is that neither of these two uh, lines seem to, to match the shape and that's because they are no longer linear lines so what I'm going to have to do here is I'm going to have to right click on them let's get this come on here right click uh, cancel I think I must have had my finger on another button then at the time right click there we go and I'm going to make them both corner so nice and simple nice and easy we've now got all the points that we need here so what I'm then going to do is I'm going to just go around I'm going to check everything I think that's all alright what I want to do now is I want to be able to make walls now if I just extrude it up from here we really wouldn't get very very far so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to spline and I'm going to select the whole segment here and what I'm then going to do is I'm going to scroll all the way down until I get to outline and being very very careful I'm going to left click and I'm going to outline as best I can so that nothing overlaps itself you notice none of these vertices are overlapping that's very very important yes I'm just going around and I'm just checking everything and I can confirm that yes nothing does actually overlap so I'll turn that off and now what I'm ready to do is to add a very very quick modifier onto this and that modifier is going to be called an extrude and I'm going to give that an amount and there you go there's our walls very very quick very very simple just going to put that to one side because what happens if we do make this shape and we actually want to make that initial tracing outline well really there's two ways that we can do this number one would be to go to line 
make sure that it's set at corner and drag type are both set at corner or initial and drag type are both set at corner and I could turn that on just very quickly come around and just click all the way around and you can see here I'm picking up all the relevant points that I need or there's a slightly easier way if you've ever got an outline like this one yeah, it's fairly clean I have to say you can go to the modify tab of the polygon and I can actually then say border edge select this border edge and create a shape from my selection of edges this is very useful if I click on that and I say linear and OK what I've now got let's just come out of this border edge mode there we go what I've now got is one instant outline of that building and that's very very useful that gives me the entire outline there all the way along and is what we then use to form the basis of these walls and remember they were uh, an editable spline if I turn that off an editable 2d spline which then just very very quickly and very very simply had an outline put on it and was extruded up but the main point to note here is that what I did was I used the vertices and as I left click I can then move them around I mean it's even to the point that if we come back to this edge and this is where the real advantage comes from if my clients turn around and said oh well actually we want the walls moved and made even bigger what I can do is I can I can click down here in my stack down to vertex say show hide end result and I can actually move these walls and reshape the whole building very very quickly very very easily and without too much fuss or effort because wherever I move the, the vertices for the spline that's where as you ripple up the stack the extrude will come into play and the extrude will make a bigger room even though I'm just moving the vertices around so very very useful way of creating walls there very very easy way of creating walls and also of editing the components that go up to make those walls as well